it's Pom Pom and welcome back to Distraint. And we're on the quest for coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I found the coffee. Okay, I need some water for the coffee. I use this coffee pot to get the water. Where's the water? Not much longer and I'll get to move out of this dump. I suppose we have to go and get water in the bathroom. I want coffee! And it started raining, are you kidding me? One of these mornings, I swear you. <laughs> okay, I think we got water. But didn't I just do that? Water is off. Well, what about that leaky place? Where's that leak? Not sure how hygienic this is. Every man deserves a cup of coffee. Yeah, got some water. Finally, I'll put the water here. Okay, I'll watch some telly. Telly! Where's the telly? I shouldn't risk it. I need to change out my pajamas, okay. I think it came from the bathroom. Well, you can't do anything in your pajamas. Oh. Obviously, we are going to do things in our pajamas today. Must be my imagination. A superb bladder. Can hold it for a day or two. A day or two! You mad? Just, just walk out here. It's like, nope. Not having a bar of this. How silly that day was. Oh, look, dear, it's our little boy. You can see that, hun. Hey, son. You don't mind that we took some coffee, do you? Although it tastes a little funny. No, no not at all. Are you alright, dear? You look so pale. Aren't you supposed to be, you know, dead? <laughs> of course we're dead. What a silly thing to say. <laughs> but, even though we're already gone, does it make you crazy to hear our words of wisdom? I suppose not. That's exactly why we are here. So listen to us, son, and let your conscience do the talking. Sounds reasonable. We heard some, well, unpleasant things about you, dear. That is correct. We're worried about you, me and your father. You getting greedy, son. It's not too late to make a change. Look, I'm not proud of all the things I've done, but look at this cranky apartment. I just want to be successful in my life. We understand, son. To the expense of other people? Think about it, son. You are better than that. I don't know. I've worked hard for this. I'm looking for Mrs. Goodwin. Is this the right address? What the hell's going on? He's going crazy. <laughs> that looks like blood coming down now. Hold it together. It's only my mind playing tricks on me. Yes, it must be. Okay, I better get dressed. You dressed. We did it. We accomplished the morning routine. <laughs> it was rough yesterday, but I decided to carry on. I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't think of Mrs. Goodwin. Anyways, Mr. Taylor was the next name on my list. He lived in the forest as a hermit. He had no debt, but the city wanted to expropriate his property. They built a highway there. I visited him so I could seize his property. Well, if he didn't have debt... I don't understand how things like that work. No trespasses. <laughs> Sorry, but we are going to have to trespass. <laughs> His cabin should be here somewhere. Oh 
Oh good, a game save. Good, that means that something's going to happen. Lovely. Ah, there it is. I don't like the sound of that. This is Price. I'm looking for Mr. Taylor. Hello? Either he's not at home or he's ignoring me. I need to talk to him. It's locked. It's a firewood stack. Okay. It's locked. Oh, hello! Hello. You must be Mr. Taylor. I am. My name's Price. Nice to make your acquaintance. Please drop the act and let me hear your threats. I know why you are here. Threats? No, no, how about reasoning? You see, Mr. Taylor, the city wants to build a highway here. It would bring lots of new people and tourism to the city. And a lot of money too, or am I mistaken? Well, that's exactly the problem with you people. Money is your king. Where's your compassion? This is my home. So it's been quite a long day already. Everything is already prepared. And don't forget we are offering you a very fair compensation. If you refuse, we'll have to expropriate your property. I guess I have no op options but to bend over. There, you got me. I hope you're happy. I'm sorry, sir. Sorry, kid. I know you're just doing your work. So if there's anything that I could do. There is something. It's getting chilly out here. Let's talk in my cabin. Here, take this key. I'll follow you shortly. Oh, while you're at it, could you like a light a fire in the fireplace? Of course. Thank you, sir. Have to get some firewood, obviously. <laughs> Duh. Just ashes here, I need to make a fire. What's with the creepy music? Don't give me the creepy music, thank you. Take some firewood. I don't appreciate the creepy music. Then we need some matches or something. Anything over here? Okay, we found the kitchen. I really don't appreciate the creepy music. Dog? Food and water bowls, nothing interesting here. Oh. It's a bathtub, there's quite a strong smell to it. Uh. There's something. Matches, perfect! Good. Go back and light that fire. Here it goes. Damn it. The firewood is moist. I need something that ignites easy. Paper. I know where paper is. Which is. There we go. No, um. I want to pick the paper up. Yay! Paper. Matches. I have made fire. <laughs> Hello, there you go, sir. Ah, I see you made fire. Good, thank you. My pleasure. It's so dark in here. Yes, there is no electricity. But back to the topic. See, my dog has gone missing, and you want me to find him, her? Her. It's quite a mysterious disappearance. How so? Well, she was here when I went to bed last night. As far as I'm aware, she can't have opened doors. And yet she was gone at the break of dawn. Then she must be inside. So I thought, but I can't find her anywhere. If you find her, I'll happily sign any papers you may have. Got yourself a deal, sir. I'll start my investigation. Good luck, kid. Oh... Uh, I have a feeling I know where she is. And it's not going to be nice. 
Because there's dog stuff everywhere. See, look, there's like dog balls here. I think she's in the bathtub, is she? If she's not outside. Is she in there? How do I find out? Maybe I go outside. Okay, this dog bed smells like piss and soap. Might be important. I'll ask Mr. Taylor about this. Okay. So I think we go back to him and talk to him. I noticed that the dog bed smells funny. Yeah, we had a little skunk accident yesterday. Oh, the smell. Anyway, we spent a good hour scrubbing the stink away. Lots of water and lots of shampoo. That explains the smell. I'm sure this helps. I'll look into it. She's in the bath, isn't she? I guess this is where he washed his dog. It still reeks. Okay, let me think. The dog bed already stinks that bad. I wonder what the dog will smell like. I think I can follow her... Follow her scent. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ha. There's a hole in this door. The dog must have gone through here. The door is locked with a combination I can't follow. I'll talk to Mr. Taylor. Okay. Wrong way. There's a locked door in the hallway. Where does it lead? Why? Well, there's a hole in the door. I believe the dog has gone through there. Hmm, that would make sense. There's an old underground cellar behind that door, but I haven't used it in years. I could take a look, but I need a combination for the lock. Oh yes, what was it? It's so long, you see. I'm afraid I've forgotten the combination. But I'm no fool, so I have backup. That's great, where can I find it? See, I love puzzles of all kind. I believe I hid the combination in one of the puzzles. If I remember correctly, the word you need is tree. Yes, that's the word. Okay, I'll take a look. Hey kid, thanks for going through all the trouble. Don't worry about it. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. There is something very wrong with this. Tree. Find tree. 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 I see fire. Tree. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Got it. Five, five, five. Oh. Oops, nope, wait. Five, six, seven, eight. Got it. Ah. I don't like this. Please don't make me run. It's a washing machine. Doesn't work. There's no electricity. This is awful. There's a save point. Why is there a save point? What do I have to do? I don't like save points. It means stuff is going to happen. No oh, wrench nails. Oh, what's that? No doubt this gasoline will come in handy. Oh dear. It's a hole in the wall and the floor. The dog has gone through here, no doubt about it. Oh. We made it out. 
Oh no. Is it <laughs> Is the poor doggy dead? Oh, there's blood. Shit, I hope this isn't her blood. Oh no, no, not the poor doggy. Oh, oh. What, 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 what was that? Here, girl. I don't have the guts to get any closer. Here, girl. I take it we're going back. Oh, I wonder if I can use the um, gasoline on this. A little compressor with this gasoline. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that. It got electricity. I did something good. I could turn the washing machine on now. Let's see. Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Something inside. It's a glove. Got scared for a moment. Oh my god, don't do that to me. That was scary. I thought maybe like there was another pet in there or something. Okay. Hey doggy. That's it, come here. Don't don't eat me. Who's a good girl? Woof! <laughs> Your master is worried about you. You should go home. Good girl. Alright, back to the cabin. You seriously just take the bridge out? What now? Well, that's creepy. You found her. Thanks, kid. I signed the papers. You can find them inside. I will leave immediately. Feels easier that way. Farewell, sir. Oh. How did the fox get there? <laughs> okay, I better get the papers. Ugh. Son, good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> McDade, Bruton, and more. Another job well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> For a moment, I thought you were going soft. 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 <laughs> Doing him a favor by finding his loudest mud. He seems like a nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. You should have just kicked his worthless ass. <laughs> worthless ass. <laughs> Next time you must remain strict. 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 <laughs> I understand. Do you now? You wouldn't want to make us regret choosing you. No, sirs. That's the spirit. Thank you for this opportunity, sirs. That reminds me, something of great importance. Importance, importance. <laughs> What's that? We have yet to see you dance, son. Uh, oh? Now dance, son. E yes, sir. Yes, that's our boy. Yeah, now faster. Nightmare. What now? I'm just gonna run because I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I think I just want to keep moving. Get 
Get me out of here. Granny's everywhere. There's Granny's everywhere. Can I go? Can I just keep running? I'm running in circles. Look, I'm just running from one side to another. Go back. I fell down and couldn't get up. Oh no. That's very loud. Yes? Is this Mr. Price speaking? Yeah. My name is Stewards. I'm sorry to bother you at such a late hour. What's all this about? It's Mrs. Goodwin. I know you're not a relative, but I'm afraid she has no one else. She asked me to call you. See, she had a stroke yesterday. Oh, how is she doing? Well, considering the seriousness of the stroke, she's fine. She's in very bad spirits. And when the mind fails, the body will follow. I'm sorry to hear that. Yes. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. I understand, but she asked specifically for you, Mr. Price. Could you consider visiting her here in our care? I'm sure it would mean a lot to her. Yes, I will happily do it. Thank you, Mr. Price. I will bring the message to her. I'm sure she'll be delighted. Thank you, Mr. Stewards. I like this game. It's got a, a good motto and a good storyline to it. It's poopy. <laughs> You're awake again. And with that, I will leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody!